Okay, Tawili, me and Syra are going to Rome, Italy for like three to four days, and Thomas Fan 2020 and Amanda will take care of you. And you need to be a good character while we are gone, and if you don't, we'll punish you for good, got it? All right. I'll be good, I promise. Awesome. That's what I like to hear from you. And we are leaving right now. Goodbye. Hello Tally, I'm Thomas Fan 2020. And I'm Amanda Cress, and we're here to host a movie night. And for tonight's movie night, we're going to watch the double feature of the 1968 version of Planet of the Apes, and Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Ugh. Planet of the Apes. Star Trek. Hell no! I'm not watching those two movies, because they're so boring as hell. I don't want to watch them. I want to go to the Ing Stadium and movie theater to see Freddy Godfingered instead. Tally, cut it out. We're not taking you to see Freddy Godfingered at Vion Stadium and movie theater. Plus, we hate that movie big time and it's rated R. Yep. I agree with Thomas Fan 2020. Freddy Godfingered is one of the worst movies of all time. We're watching Planet of the Apes and Star Trek 4 and that's final tally. Let's go. So, Yankee Dude 5000, are you so darn excited for movie night boyfriend? Oh yes I am, Sarah West. Hi there Yankee Dude 5000, Sarah West, how's it going you all? Well Thomas, Amanda, life's going so great. Plus, Kirby and his good friends are waiting for us for a darn great movie night. Let's get inside the movie theater you guys. All right, we've got Kirby, Toad, Waddle D, Cappy, Waddle Doo, Bowser Jr., Joseph, Pac-Man, Claptrap, Froki, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Yoshi, Jigglypuff, Isabel, Dodette, Diara, Jet, Gold Mario, Luigi, Mario, Knuckles Boom, Tails Boom, Sonic Boom, Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, Homero, Marissa, Raymu, Plutia, Neptune, Sarah West, Yankee Dude 5000, USA Ball, Poland Ball, and Bigby here at the home theater for an awesome movie night, isn't that awesome, Amanda? That's right Thomas Fan 2020, you said it dude. Yee, this is gonna be so awesome you know. Yeah, agreed. Well awesome, that's what I like to hear from you guys and gals. So, we have 5 people to go share any videos you like. So, who wants to go first? Well, may I go first, Thomas Fan 2020? Sure thing Poland Ball, you are first of the five characters to share some videos on this giant screen before movie night starts. Well alright then, here is the mystery trailer reel, you guys might like it. Wow Joseph, I hope this mystery trailer reel isn't that weird nor scary. Yeah dude, I agree with you. But as long those movie previews are not inappropriate as well you know. Yeah, so, why won't we watch the movie previews? It's a mystery you know guys. Well, be, be prepared, prepared with those, those mystery previews, previews ladies and, and gentlemen. gentlemen. Alright right then, then guys. This man is a rare breed. A man of action and adventure. A man who fears no danger. This man is the Bull Buster. Tough dude. He's six foot six, 270 pounds of dynamite with a very short fuse. The man is Paul Smith, and he is the Bull Buster. 
dozens of outstanding karate champions are all out to get the Bull Buster in the most sensational bone-busting adventure of our time. Guys, beware. The Bull Buster is on the loose and charging soon to this theater. End of the Road is one of the best films of the last ten years, says Show Magazine. Based on the best-selling novel by John Bart. This may sound somewhat theatrical to you, but would you mind telling me where I can go for $58.75? End of the Road demands to be seen, says Newsweek. You don't know nothing, baby. You shouldn't do that. I just might kill you. We will see. We see. What the happen? End of the Road challenges the Hollywood system. I had a delivery to make at Boy Scout HQ. Well, Rennie, you know, I told you never to apologize. I'm sorry. End of the road is where all things come together. Let there be no horse crap between teachers of English. End of the road is where love and violence meet. Get lost, creep. End of the road is your environment. Miss Gibson, there is a time and a place for everything. If you think marriages are made in heaven, if you think black is white and white is black. Joe made me come up. I told him how we've made love in minute detail. Go ahead. Pull it. Pull it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> are you crazy, you big baboon? Baboon. If you think the 60s said it all, if you think you're up against it, you haven't come to the end of the road. Oh, Jesus! Get up. For God's sake, team, snap to it. Your mother made five beta cap at Smith, but I don't think she can make a four minute egg. Jonathan, not tonight. I'm too tired. Is there anything you can do anymore? Diary of a Mad Housewife, a Frank Perry film with screenplay by Eleanor Perry from the novel by Sue Kaufman. In nine days, we are giving a party for 100 people. I would like to see you do one thing to make this party a success. Would you come to a party that we're giving a week from Saturday? This is ridiculous. I am going home. Sit down. Sit down. 
I can't stay. You make me too mad. You're not mad. You're scared to death. By far, the Perry's best film. Great movie making. Superb performances. New York Times. An important film. Life magazine. A pungent contemporary comedy. Playboy. A beautiful and dazzling piece of filmmaking. Holiday magazine. Certainly not a love affair. Surpasses the Perry's David and Lisa and Last Summer. L.A. Herald Examiner. Witty dialogue. The biting truth is earthy, refreshing, and strangely satisfying. Cosmopolitan magazine. You're damn right I'm a sadist and you're the perfect willing victim. As usual, you've got everything twisted. Why am I got twisted? Blisters the current scene. The best Frank Perry has made. Saturday Review. It is of children that you must speak today. And the man said, Your children are not your children. They are born of Aquarius. And the only path they know is to the stars. They come from you, but belong only to themselves. You all seem like such good friends. We are. We perform bird surgery together. We've drunk truth serum together. We've told each other awful things about ourselves. It sort of creates a bond between people. And though you may give them your kingdom, their thoughts are their own. For it is to them that you bequeath the future. The future that you cannot visit. I love you both. Ah, she's just a kid. No, no, really? no. There's so few people we can trust. Careful. Terrific. I trust you. I trust, trust you. you. I trust you. We all <laughs> trust each other. To that. <laughs> when last summer began, they were children. When it ended, they were something else. Today's child dies. Tomorrow's man is born. Frank Perry, creator of David and Lisa, has once again discovered a cast of young talents, and once again he has made an unforgettable motion picture based on the provocative novel by Evan Hunter. It is called Last Summer. cat or dog because they eat too much. Little kids bore the pants off me, and when I go to a ball game, I root for the visitors. I never cried at a wedding or a funeral. I never sent a Christmas card, and I cheated my wife, if I had the time. But I've got one soft spot. A man is innocent until proven guilty. The Lawyer. Adam Gaines has a 911 T Porsche. Good looks, a guaranteed future, and as many girls as he can handle. When you're through with the hip and slick of it all, when the good life becomes too good, when the hard things come easy, then it's time to say so long, shift gears, and head for reality. The world changed for Adam at 6 a.m. Adam Gaines. It's Gladys's boy from California. Hello there, Adam. And I just said to Jerry, this is my daughter, Jerry Jo. Hi, Adam. Hello. I said, now there's someone your own age for you to talk with. I'm 
on this dreadful afternoon. You're not from Kansas City, I take it. California. Mm. <clears throat> Pharmacy's my field. Semantics and ditch digging. But just what is that now? The semantics? Study of meanings. Meanings of what? Well, meanings of words. Well, why doesn't a young man like yourself, present company accepted, of course, why doesn't he get up off his behind and make a buck? Harvey Gavin. Adam Gaines. Yeah, I see you ain't used to hard work. <laughs> oh, you got yourself one hell of a good job now. Got a job for the summer. Power and light summer crew. You won't like it. That's for men who never went to school. Let me tell you some bitch shot. I made you old lady Mavis. I did a hell of a witch away. Get up! I'll be the man! You're different from us. You got brains. And yeah, now you got yourself the ball to go along with it. Look, I don't want to be stopped in one place by somebody's idea of what's proper. I see you and me traveling all across the country. Europe, maybe a couple of years. Just go. We're two new people. All right? Let's try everything. Elijah, rise up and take to the road. We got a long way to go. When there is only torture, only violence, only death, then it is time for Sting of the Dragon Masters. Angela Mao, the Queen Bee of the Martial Arts, is back. Breaking bones to bring her enemies to their feet. And her champions to her side. Angela Mao leads the Dragon Masters. They're unbeatable. Unbreakable. Unforgettable. Sting of the Dragon Masters, the chop sock team that'll knock you out and stop you to pieces. So guys, what do you think of these movie trailers? Oh my god, this vintage movie trailer reel is more like a high school film project. Think guys. Yeah, I totally agree with you with this vintage movie trailer reel. And yes, this is more like a stool movie project, you know. Yeah, Sonic Boom. This trailer reel looks like a film project that was made in high school, dude. Yeah, that was pretty much like these movie previews from 1969 to 1975, I see. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. agreed with, agreed those, with those movie, movie previews. previews. Yeah, although I haven't seen those movie previews before. They're so vintage, you know. No dub pals. These were so cool and vintage those movie previews were, they're from 1969 to 1975 I guess. Ha ha. Yeah, I like those trailers, they remind me of one of the film projects at film class in some kind of high schools, don't you agree Thomas? Yeah Amanda. So anyways, who would like to go second? May I go second? Thomas Fan 2020? Sure thing what'll do. You are the second character to share any videos you like. Alright. Here is another mystery movie preview reel you guys might like. Well guys, another retro and vintage movie preview reel. Yay! Oh, I hope the second preview reel looks retro vintage and awesome at the same time you'll know. Well Mario and Luigi, I guess this is a mystery, and you're right. Yep, as long it's not too inappropriate or something. So, let's watch the movie previews guys. Alright then, here are the mystery movie trailers. Let's watch. that are built with the micro-precision of a jet ramming through the sound barrier. 
one mistake, and there ain't no second chance. Get ready for a motion picture that will knock your wheels off. American Nitro. Well, what a beautiful day, down at the strip, put my foot to the floor. Well, come on, baby, give me just a couple miles more. American Nitro, a film that opens it up and gets behind America's fastest growing sport. Drag racing and the supercharged funny cars. If you're at your first drag race, you say, I can hit it be louder than that. Stand back. It's coming. American Nitro. Starring Tom the Mongoose McEwen and Don the Snake Perdome. Get off on a life and death struggle as you sit behind their 2,000 horsepower engines and move into a split-second kick that gets you off. American Nitro, a high-powered, high-speed motion picture with drive to win. American Nitro, the motion picture that turns Russian roulette into kids' play. American Nitro, see those dragsters and funny car drivers take their 2,000 horsepower engines and tear up the track. American Nitro. In a future that grows ever closer, the fate of our Earth will lie in the hands of one man, a solitary warrior of great courage. His name is Doki, and he is called the Finder. His enemies will emerge from the underworld to test his strength. Yurok, the Cyclopean warlord of the One Eyes, the Assassin Baal, half man, half machine. And Jared Sin, leader and mastermind of the Sinister Renegades. <laughs> they will utilize their cruelest weapons. They will exploit their most mysterious powers. As they create an epic non-stop action adventure movie that will challenge your senses. And they will do all this for you in 3D. This summer. Metal Storm. The destruction of Jared Sin in 3D. Webster is taking off for L.A. He lives to thrash. He loves to compete. But the competition is a killer. Check it out, it's hooking the dagger. beautiful girl at the club. The music of the Bangles. Animotion. Devo. Meatloaf. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thrashing. Well, what do you thrash? What do you got? You'd like to be held like that? Yeah, I'd love it. Right? 
right, Valley Boy? You like games, right, Valley Boy? An uphill romance. Corey, please don't go. To a downhill race. It's not a kid's game anymore. Laurel and Hardy were the kings of comedy. Then, Abbott and Costello took the 40s and split their sides with laughter. The 50s went hysterical and broke up to the wild antics of Martin and Lewis. In the great tradition of these laugh masters of the past come two guys who are hysterically funny. They're Cheech and Chong, the comedy team that gave birth to rock comedy and in the process turned on a whole generation. Now it's time for the Cheech and Chong movie, Up in Smoke. in the lineup and let the bright lights shine. Watch Cheech and Chong travel to Mexico to pick up the world's first van made entirely of marijuana. For years, people have smuggled grass across the borders in every way possible. Do you expect to see any violence here today? I certainly hope so. But things Jordan. don't always go as planned. <laughs> and even man's most heavenly plans go fire. up oh, in smoke. Fire. We get pulled over by the cops, man. What? What's I don't have a license. You don't have a license? Sure. You don't have a license. Things get even higher when the world's only grass van starts smoking on its own. What do you guys want? If it isn't one bust, it's another. Oh, man, it's a cop, so strawberry, they're on your pad, man. They're going to bust your pad. Hey, hey, man, hi. What? Hi, man, it's a bus. What's going on? It's a bus, man. Hello? Get out of the house, man. It's being busted. Corey, freeze! This is a bus. Oh. Uh, so if you want to see the dopiest van of all time... Hey, first gear. Here we go. <laughs> on its way to the wildest rock concert of the century... Hey. ...and the high of a lifetime... See Cheech and Chong, the original High Riders, in Up in Smoke. It must be some heavy. Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Don't go straight to see this movie.
kicked is bound to turn violent. Lee Van Cleef just does it better than most. In a city of light, sound. Dangerous strangers and the night. And speed. The one man who puts it all together will become king of the mountain. The Proving Ground, 23 miles of mountain road, slicing the city in two. Even by day, it's dangerous. By night, it's deadly. He's given his life to this road, his days to figuring the line, his nights to fighting the challengers. Not a chance, pal, not a chance. And now that he's finally got them beat, he's a living legend. I know who you are. The fast one. I can drive that course blindfolded. I own it. It's mine. But to stay a legend, he'll have to remain unbeaten. You know that thing that jerks your head back, you know? Locks your jaw and clenches your teeth. Fear. I thought you were just shy. I'm not exactly shy. I'm careful. I want to challenge tonight! You don't need that brace. He does. You gonna be here tonight when I get back? You mean if you get back? When you're the best, someone always wants you to prove it. Harry Hamlin is King of the Mountain. Monty Walsh, cowboy, born in 1843, died when he had to. Don't ask if he was real, because he was as real as the West. I got word from Consol. I ain't interested. I'm afraid you'll have to be. They've given up on the slash Y. For the time being, they want a fence in all their land. That's all. That's going to be a lot of fence. Look, Monty. Do you have any idea how many cow hands there were in this country 10, 15 years ago? Well, there's a hell of a lot fewer now. Pretty soon there won't be hardly any. Oh, come on, Chef. Things ain't that bad. And yeah, they are, Monty. Well, you can ride from Texas way up into Canada and back again. That's fine. But ain't nobody gonna pay you for doing it. Chef's got money. <laughs> Did you ride 40 miles to tell me that? How come we never got married? 
You never asked me. I never thought of it. The way things are going, Cowboy doesn't make enough money to live right. Let alone get mine. I don't know what else I could do. Yes, sir, Mr. Walsh. Matter of fact, I've heard a lot about you. Not all of it bad, either. <laughs> How would you like to be Texas Jack Butler, Star Cowboy, Bronco Buster, and all-around wild man of the West? Monty Walsh will do. We couldn't get work. A lot of good boys can't get work. Well, I was starving. I couldn't rustle. Well, you ain't. You're getting your three squares every day. It ain't like we was rustling from anybody we know. Makes no difference. They belong to Slash Y. Slash Y? Stop blatting about something that ain't anymore. The kind of life you're talking about is dead. Snow Bear did last winter. It ain't dead. As long as there's one cowboy taking care of one cow, it ain't dead. Dumb egg sucking. Nobody gets to be a cowboy forever, huh? Sam Bonner stalked the Indian. Tonight, the Indian stalks him. Gregory Peck, Eva Marie Saint in A Stalking Moon. Apaches? Uh, How many? Just one. But there were three men. They were all armed. One set of tracks and a buffalo rifle. Salvahi. Last I heard of Salvahi, he was cleared down the window rock. What the hell's he doing up here again? He came for his son. He'll come back for his son. They put a thousand miles between themselves and the Apache, but it wasn't enough. Relentlessly, as the moon, he stalks them. Now listen at the floor, I hear from the Indians about the boy. Do you know what he is, this boy? Yeah. Well, I figure maybe you don't know. So I write Hennessy. Then I ride Silverton. Silverton, they're all dead, too. I come tell you. He's on his way. Tonight, when the stalking moon is high, he will find them. You won't hear him. I'll hear him. It doesn't happen that way. He just comes. escape the stalking moon. Wow, that'll do. These movie previews are so retro and vintage at the same time. But awesome. Yeah, buddy. These vintage and retro previews made my eyeballs wiggle. Yeez, we're so retro and awesome. Yeah, I agree with you both. Yee! The trailer reel looks like it's more like Up's tape or something. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, those vintage previews were more like a beta cam videotape. Don't you agree? Well, you said it guys. So, who would like to go third? Anyone? May I go third, Thomas Fan 2020? Sure thing Neptune. You're the third character to go share some videos. Thanks.
So, have you seen some weird sequences from SpongeBob? Neptune, why the heck are we watching some scenes from SpongeBob? Yeah, somebody is tormenting us with SpongeBob SquarePants, guys. Dude, Squirtle, relax. She's just showing the sequences from SpongeBob on this giant screen. Yeah, Neptune, play the scenes from SpongeBob. You've chosen your voice, girlfriend. All right, guys, here they are. Mr. Krabs? I'm just going to make a few changes to the Krusty Krab menu, that's all. Changes? Oh, that reminds me. Do you have an eraser I could borrow? Uh, eraser? Ah, never mind. I'll just cross it off. No more Krabby Patties. <laughs> no more Krabby Patties. <laughs> Okay, just breathe normally, son. Oh my God, he died. There you go. That's it. There! He's starting to revive! I had this horrible dream that Mr. Krabs is never gonna let me cook Krabby Patties again! Pardon me. Your crusty dog, sir, with extra mustard. Thanks. Can I bring you something else? Okay, I guess not. Thank you, sir. Wait for it, SpongeBob, wait for it. Now! Yeah, remember that? That was, oh my Neptune! That crusty dog is about to explode! What? Where? Mr. Krabs sure has a lot of baggage about drain dealies. The main drain sounds very, very dangerous. I'm never gonna go near that thing. We should go find it! To protect it from people like us! What if we get sucked in like those other two kids? Oh, don't worry. We're not little kids. We're all grown up. Hey, old baby dude. Yeah. Did you just put that on? No, I didn't want to lose it, so I put it there right before we started filming. This thing is stuck pretty good. Knowing you, but you have got to go now. Okay, ah, we go. Oh, well, that kind of hurts. Come on. Oh, that really hurts. Oh, barnacles, this hurts. Cock shell manatees, this is painful. <laughs> Okay, you're tough, you're smart, and you are charming, but you are still no match for me! Look, a bald eagle with a mustache! Okay, fine, stay, but I hope you like making Krabby Patties! Yeah, it'll be pretty quiet around here with Mr. Krabs sending you home early and all. I just hope we'll make it through the whole rest of this day without you here. <laughs> What? Me? Tell Mr. Krabs? Oh, no! No, 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 Well, maybe. I don't have to tell Mr. Krabs. 
Because he already knows. such a crybaby. And lucky me, I get to work with him all day. SpongeBob, guess what? Yeah, I'll come back later. He was a good little crabby baddie. I didn't know him well, but in the few short seconds between grill and floor, I... I came to love him! <laughs> it just isn't me! What, SpongeBob? Will you stop crying? With the Krabby Patty fell on the floor and then he... Krabby Patty, nothing! Krabby Patty, nothing! nothing. <laughs> what now? It's a quick montage of flashbacks I've edited together that shows the hundreds of tears you have cried over the years. Thousands of tears later. Wow, guess I do cry a lot. He cried, and he cried, and he cried even more. And he kept crying, and crying, and crying, and crying, and, and, and that's right, you can do it. I'm wondering if it might not be so healthy to hold it on my tears, Squidward. You're exactly right, SpongeBob. Let it all out. Don't fight the fear. Ten, nine, do it, do it, try! Eight, seven, six, five, come on! Four, three, two, one! It's night! <sighs> well, SpongeBob, it looks like you won. What a great show! Well, at least we're still together, little ones. Success! Uh-oh, that ain't good. No, 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 no! I can see everything! <laughs> Thing I always bring backup milk. Uh oh, here we go. Eureka! It's gone. That disgustingly good eye is finally gone. Swimmer. 
Okay, that's enough. It's closing time. You know, it just won't be the same around here without you. You'll have to visit sometime. As a customer. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Sayonara. Good riddance. Man, is it gonna be sweet without that pest around? <laughs> This day couldn't get any better. It says future side of the Shelly Superhighway. Superhighway? Do you know what that means? Well, yeah, it's sort of like other roads, except there are no stops. I know what a superhighway is. I mean, for all these jellyfish. For us, for jellyfish field. Sorry. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I actually would like to help, but I'm just too busy right now. Too busy doing what? I'm too busy telling you. No! Private SpongeBob! Ahoy! Captain Mr. Krabs, ahoy! Why, SpongeBob? That's not your usual four-fingered salute. Well, I guess I'm just upset because they're building a highway over jellyfish fields. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, I'd sure hate me customers to see you like this. Is there anything I can do to help? Really, Mr. Krabs? Sure, why not? Oh, Mr. Krabs! I just know that together we can stop that nasty old highway from going right through jellyfish fields. <laughs> Uh, you're not talking about the Shelly Superhighway, are you? Yeah, why? Uh, well, because I'm actually in favor of that highway being built. No, no, no! Yes, I've already calculated how many new customers I'll get once it's finished. You can see for yourself in this whole series of charts and diagrams I've displayed. <laughs> charts and diagrams. Mr. Krabs? No, boy, oh, not that kind. Mr. Krabs, what are you saying? The Krusty Krab can't stay in business. Not like this. It can't? No, SpongeBob. It's time to activate Plan Z Dash Niner Niner. Z Dash Niner Niner! Yeah! What? I have those SpongeBob sequences like 100 times. You know, guys? Yeah. My eyes were watching those scenes like a thousand times. Oh yeah. yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. That was even more SpongeBob scenes than the last time we seen the usual time. Well, yeah. As well as that, the SpongeBob fan base is so toxic, like the Power Rangers fan base. Junior, why do you say that the SpongeBob fan base is toxic? Pikachu, I'm just curious. The show keeps running more than 200 episodes and more than 10 seasons, you know. Yeah. This is kind of a spam or some kind of weird randomness scenes from this. Yeah. This is kind of fetish, you know. Yeah. These were pretty odd as well. Ha ha ha. Yeah. You said it. So anyways, who would like to go forth? May I go forth? Thomas Fan 2020. Well, Froki, you're the fourth character to share any video you like. Go for it. Thanks, Thomas. So, do you want to see the VHS mystery trailer reel? Another trailer reel. Are you serious, pal? Yeah, I hope it's not too weird or fetish or something. Well, here's the VHS trailer reel. Just keep your eyes on this. So, is this this trailer reel? It's a retro. It's a mystery. Yeah, Knuckles, boom. Agree, dude. Kids, don't miss the other exciting titles in the Veggie Tale series. Rack Shack and Benny, will they be forced to bow down to the giant chocolate bunny, or will they be thrown into the fiery furnace? Dave and the giant pickle. Is anyone big enough to take on an eight-foot pickle? Will anyone come to the rescue? Don't miss a second. God wants me to forgive them. Have a look at the grapes of wrath. What do you get when a bunch of very cranky grapes make fun of Junior Asparagus? Can Junior's dad show the grapes the error of their ways? Then on to Larry's Lagoon. Can the veggies survive being stuck on a tropical island? Will the skipper ever forgive Larry? And how many contraptions can the professor build out of bamboo and coconuts? 
Where's God when I'm scared? Tales from the CRISPR. What happens when five-year-old Junior Asparagus watches a Frankenstein movie that's a little too scary for him? Will he learn that God is bigger than anything he might be afraid of? And what about Daniel and the Lion's Den? Daniel finds himself in deep trouble with the king's wise men. Will he escape with his life? Will God save him from the savage lions? Kids of all ages will love the original music and groundbreaking animation in each half-hour episode of Veggie Tales. Available now at all Christian bookstores. Warning, an epidemic of fish fever is sweeping the nation. It is highly contagious. Fortunately, there is no cure. It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. Fish. There are Pisces. Pisces. It's dazzling. It's futuristic. It's fun. It's a balloon for everybody. I mean, it's sacrilege. That's what it is. It's got speed. It's got rhythm. It's got style. Just like gong shows. It's a new sensation. A celebration. And a secret weapon. It's fish fever. And once you catch it, you're a hook. The fish that saves Pittsburgh. An astrological disco sports extravaganza. And may the fish be with you. It's one of the most beloved animated classics of all time. I wish I was a boy. But that's another movie. Ow, you're hurting me, dear blue fairy. How many times I gotta tell you, dog breath? I ain't no fairy! Walt Disney Pictures presents Teacher's Pet. The musical tale of one dog's dream of becoming a boy. A boy needs a dog. He's a boy. He's a dog. Disney's Teacher's Pet. He's good. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. The SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection is available now. This will prove to be my greatest evil scheme ever. Let the Molly be. Always, I hit my head on some blocks. Now I can't seem to remember anything. What am I gonna do without my best friend? Hi, SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection is available now. Each sold separately. And look out for more SpongeBob DVDs coming soon. This spring, Turner Feature Animation introduces you to some new characters you'll love in a story that could only happen in the movie. Hollywood, where the streets are paved with gold. 
Hollywood. So join Danny, Sawyer, Tilly, Wooly, Pudge, I'm busted. and Darla Dimple, child star extraordinaire. I am an angel. And her faithful assistant, Max. Yes. <laughs> With new songs by Grammy Award winners Randy Newman and Natalie Cole. Nothing's gonna stop. Nothing's gonna stop. Nothing's gonna stop audiences everywhere from enjoying a brand new world of animated fun, excitement, and adventure. Cats don't dance. See you in the movies. And you really think you have a chance to win? We're going to be up there on that stage in the finals. Pinsky, Daniel. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 150 pounds. Occupation, part-time in a cab. Sorry. Part-time on a stage. Love is why I live. Full-time, on the run. Hey! Ooh. What's the matter with you, man? You sick? Oh, He's wanted. Count of Wanted by the police for 78 parking tickets. This is taxi. And three murders. I just never had a chance to clear myself. Now I'm a murderer on the front page. Morning. Wanted by a girl named Amy. That's real good, huh? Forever. Fine. Pinsky. Pursued by just about everyone for a monkey. Get up and get up and get up. Everybody's killing each other for a monkey? Precisely. You little nothing. You little niche. You see the ordinary monkey? One of our men is missing an axe. Pinsky! Pinsky's out there somewhere in no man's land. Cut off from his outfit. Look for Pinsky over hill, over dale, over every dusty trail. The halls of the cow palace to the shores of Sausalito. Man, find him. Who are you? Where is this place? Who are those goons out there? Why can't I go? What's going on here? picture that shows the world how to succeed in rock and roll without really dying. What does anything mean without love? most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? ...is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. Oh, oh, oh! It feels delicious to be so vicious. I'm the Noga, the queen of me. There, he accidentally comes face to face with a little girl. What's your... And her brother, Gus. Who's there? I'm Stanley. What's your name? Rosie. Oh, watch this. Together, they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. 
Now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms in a movie that will make your heart sing. A Troll in Central Park. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Everything you ever wanted in a movie, in one movie, you can get high, get low, get flipped, get a glow, get hot, get bizarre, die, I'm on, get a plane, get a car. Get religion. Get sin. Get caressed. Get undressed. Get molested. Get arrested. Evening officer. But most of all, get crazy! Get it while it's hot. Get it if you're not. Come and get it. Get crazy! What Animal House did to college, an airplane did to flying, Get Crazy does to rock and roll. Get Crazy, coming soon to a theater near you. Wow! These were some cool and retro trailers. These ones caught my eyes, you know. Yeah, I agree with you. This was trailer really so cool and retro at the same time. Don't you think anyone? Oh yeah, I agree with you. Sonic Boom! Yeah, these trailers were so awesome but weird. Yeah? These were weird and awesome at the same time, Tails! Yeah, this VHS trailer real caught my large eyeballs. That was awesome and weird. Yeah. I got to say this, some of them were awesome, and some of them were weird. Yeah. Even though, I kind of like a troll in Central Park, and cats don't dance, these were good movies in my opinion. Yeah Sarah West, Stanley the Troll's ears made my ears wiggle like him. Ha. Huh. Yeah. So, who would like to go last? Okay, I will go last. Thomas Fat 2020. Alright Charmander. You're the last character to share any videos you like. Thanks, dude. So, do you want to see some weird scenes from the early VeggieTales episodes from the 1990s? Dude, why the heck are you going to show some weird sequences from the early VeggieTales episodes from the 1990s? Yeah, why are we watching the early episodes of VeggieTales, Charmander? Well, who the heck gives a piece of cheese? Let's watch the scenes from VeggieTales. I'm going to play it. Oh, 
telling lies Oh no, not me, I don't wanna cry You could talk about it all night long But the feeling's gone and I don't need you to tell me why Oh no, not me, I don't wanna cry Oh no, not me, I don't wanna cry Oh no, not me, I don't wanna cry Now, Charmander. These were weird and jumpy CGI animated sequences from the 1990s. These caught my large as boot. Did you see that, Toady? That's pretty weird, you know. Yeah, Kirby Pink Pal. Agreed. Well, I told you. Charmander, why did you show? Some creepy 3D animated scenes from the 90s, dude. Well, those Veggie Tales scenes gave us the nightmares of the 1990s computer animation. Hey, I like Veggie Tales. It's my favorite show. Well, I guess I'm neutral to Veggie Tales, you know, Thomas. Well, I can handle your opinion, Amanda. So, let's get ready for the movie night, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I just cannot wait for a retro double feature movie night. Yeah, this is going to be so awesome. All right. Let's start with the previews and then the double feature themselves, everyone. Whoa, Sonic, I bet this is an awesome and the best movie night, don't you think? Yeah, Tails, I agree with you, old pal. This is going to be so awesome. Diabolic, a bank Robin Hood who battles the cops. He robs from the rich to give to the girls. Ask Eva. Oh, you shouldn't have done it. She can't get a good night's sleep unless she's covered with money. <laughs> Master Sports Car Racer. Master Skin Diver. Master Lover. Master, ask Eva. Diabolic, the absolute gold-plated end. Ask Eva. Telly. What is she 
Richard Harris is a man called Horse. He goes west to discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. horse. To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun bow ceremony, perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. One hundred and eleven years ago, when I was ten years old, between 1858 and 1878, Jack Crabb was an Indian warrior, a preacher's ward, a gunfighter, a drunkard, a hermit, and he tried to kill General Custer. Take him away and hang him. And you can believe as much of that as you want. 
Dustin Hoffman plays Jack Crab. Throw up three. And he plays him for real. After real, after real, after real. In Little Big Man. Dustin Hoffman, real two. These were human beings, my son. And now they're dead. Rubbed out by those ugly, unnatural creatures. Why would they kill women and children? Because they are strange. They do not seem to know where the center of the earth is. We must have a war on these cowards and teach them a lesson. Dustin Hoffman, Real Five. You murdered fool! Got to cut your throat to get it through your head, I'm a white man. White? Sure I'm white. Didn't you hear me say, God bless George Washington, God bless my mother. I mean, now what kind of Indian would say a fool thing like that? Dustin Hoffman and Martin Balsam, real seven. You're improving, Jack. You just can't seem to get rid of that streak of honesty in you. The one that ruined you was that damned Indian, old Titi. You mean old Lotskin? He gave you a vision of moral order in the universe, and there isn't any. Dustin Hoffman and Faye Dunaway as Mrs. Pendrake, real four. You do realize, don't you, dear Jack, that the Reverend Pendrick is not altogether wrong. Oh. Oh, what man? Well, Jesus is your savior. You do realize that, don't you, dear Jack? Oh, Lord. Yes, Miss Pendrick. Are you thinking of Jesus, Jack? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But well, you mustn't fib to me, you know. Oh, no. I love Jesus and Moses and all of them. Dustin Hoffman and Wild Bill Hickok, Real Nine. Dustin Hoffman and General Custer, Real 13. Take my advice. Go west. Oh! 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 My wife, she, she's awful scared of Indians. My dear woman, you have nothing to fear from the Indians. I give you my personal guarantee. For Christian America! Let your arrows fly, savages! I am on board! Arthur Penn, who gave you the miracle worker, Bonnie and Clyde, and Alice's Restaurant, has created 15 reels of motion picture entertainment called Little Big Man. <laughs> oh! Oh, you devil! Oh! <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Monty Walsh, cowboy, born in 1843, died when he had to. Don't ask if he was real, because he was as real as the West. From I ain't interested. I'm afraid you'll have to be. They've given up on the slash Y. For the time being, they want to fence in all their land. That's all. 
That's going to be a lot of friends. Look, Monty. Do you have any idea how many Callahans there were in this country 10, 15 years ago? Well, there's a hell of a lot fewer now. And pretty soon there won't be hardly any. Oh, come on, shut things like that down. And here they are, Monty. Well, you can ride from Texas way up into Canada and back again. That's fine. But ain't nobody gonna pay you for doing it. Chuck's got my right. <laughs> Did you ride 40 miles to tell me that? How come we never got married? You never asked me. I never thought of it. The way things are going, Cowboy doesn't make enough money to live right. Let alone get mine. I don't know what else I could do. Yes, sir, Mr. Walsh. Matter of fact, I've heard a lot about you. Not all of it bad, either. <laughs> How would you like to be Texas Jack Butler, star cowboy, bronco buster, and all-around wild man of the West? Monty Walsh will do. We couldn't get work. A lot of good boys can't get work. Well, I was starving. I couldn't rustle. Well, you ain't. You're getting your three squares every day. It ain't like we was rustling with many, but we know. Makes no difference. They belong to Slash Y. Slash Y? Stop planning about something that ain't anymore. The kind of life you're talking about is dead. Snow buried it last winter. It ain't dead. As long as there's one cowboy taking care of one cow, it ain't that dumb egg sucking hoop. Nobody gets to be a cowboy forever, huh? There's gonna be a place for us, a place where we belong. To stand outside, just looking in. Occupation, driver. Transporting a supercharged Dodge Challenger from Denver to San Francisco. Background, Medal of Honor in Vietnam. Former stock and bike racer. Former cop, dishonorably discharged. Now he uses speed to get himself up. To get himself gone. Everybody's after Kowalski. Because you think we're queers. For one reason or another. Is there something I can do for you? Well, like what? Like anything you want. Everybody wants a piece of his hide. Maybe kill somebody. Maybe stole that big dude of his. Maybe both. Look at that son of a They want to get him and put him away. But they'll have to catch him first. Ah! Let my own hands fall! This is yours truly, super, super soul! Directed live! And there goes the challenger being chased by the blue, blue meanies on wheels. The vicious traffic squad cars are after our known driver. The super driver of the Golden West. The police numbers are getting closer, closer, closer to our soul hero in his soul mobile. They're gonna get him, smash him, rip the last American hero. It's the maximum trip at maximum speed. Vanishing point. from all over the world. They will drive day and night through sun and rain. Beneath his racing suit, 
Each driver must wear fireproof underwear, capable of withstanding 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature of burning gasoline, for 15 seconds. Yellow flags and yellow lights along the circuit indicate the presence of an accident. Yellow means danger, no overtaking. And so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most famous motor car race in the world, the 38th running of the Grand Prix of Endurance and Efficiency, the 24 hours of the long. essence is speed. The objective is winning. And the danger is dying. Le Mans, where hour by hour, lap after lap, the man-to-man -man competition of champions never stops. Do you think it will be like a Nürburgring? A race between you and Stahler? I hope not. Would this uh, be the same kind of race you had with Delaney at the Nürburgring? Well, uh, this is Le Mans. It's a different thing, you know. And what do you think of Stahler? Stahler? I think he's probably one of the best drivers in the world. Do you think that you and Delaney will end up having a close race here? Maybe. He's fast, I'm fast, so we're always together. The press is making a big thing about us. Yeah. But it's money. That's American. Michael? Careful. Now, don't be a pain in the ass, Harry. Le Mans. At 200 miles an hour, a pressure of winning and losing is tough enough. Explaining it to someone else makes it even tougher. This isn't just a thousand to one shot. This is a professional blood sport. And it can happen to you. And then it can happen to you again. What is so important about driving faster than anyone else? A lot of people go through life doing things badly. Racing is important to men who do it well. And racing, it, it's life. Anything that happens before or after, just waiting. Le Mans. The men. The machines. The motion picture. Steve McQueen stars in it. No one else could. Amazing. Incredible. Impossible. Not for the Super Cops. The smash bestseller of 1973 becomes this year's most exciting motion picture. The true story of the cops they called Batman and Robin, Ron Liebman, and David Selby are the Super Cops. Twentieth Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise, a gothic horror story. <laughs> What was that? A beautiful love story. A cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter and beyond. The story of a sound. The man who created it. The girl who sang it. The monster who stole it. And the phantom 
who haunts the paradise, the ultimate rock palace. Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. Only she can sing it. Anyone else that tries, dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. So you told me one time that you'd be somebody, that you weren't working just to survive. B. Just no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that do. I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Stop and try me, only you might satisfy me. Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom. Phantom. Wow, these movie previews were so vintage and retro. These were so awesome. Yeah, I agree with you Isabel. These previews were so awesome as heck. It's like we're at the drive-in theater. Yeah, girls, these previews were so retro and there was some at the same time, you know. Yeah, these were some cool retro movie trailers that were shown on this giant screen. Well, you said it, boys and girls. These movie previews were so darn awesome and retro. So Tana, Black Yoshi, are you darn ready for Freddy Got Fingled with Tao Lai? Born ready dude. Born ready folk. I hope this movie is going to be so funny and awesome at the same time. Wow Amanda. This is the best movie night so far. Yeah Thomas. I agree with you dude. Excuse me everyone, may I use the restroom please? Of course you can Tao Lai, but be back quick. You don't want to miss the rest of the double feature at movie night. Do you? Thanks Thomas Fan 2020. I'm leaving now. Well, good thing that stupid talking towel isn't here right now. Yeah, copy. I agree with you. Why hello there Crank, Tanner, and Black Yoshi. Are you damn excited for Freddy God Fingered, the movie? Well, hell yeah fuck. I'm so damn excited for Freddy God Fingered. So, wanna get some tickets? Of course. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. So, I bet Freddy Godfingered is one of the best movies of 2001. Yep. This is going to be way better than Monsters Incorporated, Sherlock, Harry Potter, or Lord of the Rings you know. The fuck. So, the movie is about to start fucks. All right then, let's watch the movie. It's going to be so awesome. ocean lives a sponge unlike any other. Hooray! Bubble party! <laughs> For years, he enjoyed a carefree life. Hey! Who blew this bubble? But all that was about to change. By tomorrow, I will rule the world! <laughs> 
Well, good luck with that. My crown! <laughs> Someone has stolen the royal crown! <laughs> Who can stop me now? <laughs> you! Be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. You can do it in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, six. Six it is then. Now, what is it? The paddy wagon. Sesame seed finish. Steel belted pickles. And under the hood? Wow. Yeah. Wow. We will begin a journey. To become the hero he was born to be. Are they laughing at us? No, Patrick. They're laughing next to us. This November. Hooray for SpongeBob! <laughs> get ready. Let's get it out! Go for a big adventure. Oh, boy. <laughs> How you doing? Trouble. Things have gotten a lot worse since you left. Plankins turned everyone we know into slaves. Even Gary. Oh, Plankton. Big twists. Oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache. So do you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big action. And big surprises when Sponge Meets World. Who are you? I'm David Hasselhoff. For the very first time. Hooray! The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> In order to keep the army's hands off them, they had to keep their hands off girls. The Gay Deceivers. I'm Malcolm D. John, your landlord. Introducing Michael Greer as the gay landlord. Oh, I'm Danny. Starring Kevin Coughlin. Oh, how do you do? I'm Elliot. Larry Casey. Well, pleased to meet you. You are the muscular one, aren't you? <laughs> I just adore this cottage. And beautiful Brooke Bundy. I saw him first. Oh, wait a minute, Gorgeous. I got a bigger kiss off. Ah, down. Dad, I'm trying to tell you something. Don't tell me. Tell your draft board. Hey, everybody. This is Elliot, our next door neighbor. Control yourself. What goes on in the gay deceivers when everyone begins to suspect everyone else is the darndest, gayest fairy tale you've ever seen on the motion picture screen. Let's have a look. And even little sister gets into the act. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Have I got a girl for you? Ta-da! It's getting so you can't tell the boys from the girls. What kind of a movie is this? Rated R. It's one of the most beloved animated classics of all time. I wish I was a boy. Is that you here, Blue Fairy? But that's another movie. Ow, you're hurting me, dear Blue Fairy. How many times I gotta tell you, dog rat, I ain't no fairy! Coming only to theaters. Is it really you? In the fur! Disney's Teacher's Pet. World, here I come! I gotta be a boy! The musical tale of a dreamer. Then with the dream again. It's not enough you dress up like a boy and go to that cockamamie school every day! Who is so over being Rover. Be a good doggy. This really stinks. You should smell it from down here. What? Until one day... Dr. Ivan Crank claims he could turn animals into dumb human beings just like you. It's my dream come true. Now, he's taking a chance. I've got to meet that man. And unleashing the power of his inner boy. What? Who is that? He looked a lot shorter on TV. Maybe it's the axe. I shall make you a boy. Oh, well, that is just wrong on so many levels. A boy needs a... Coming only to theaters. Disney's Teacher's Pet. He's good. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've heard that.
Hiram Jaffe's world is just like yours. A little unreal. Darling! You listen to that noise? Move. Some people think move is about moving. Like a... Uh, uh, Setting something into motion, Dolly, something I don't understand. Some people think move is about the system. Breaking down. You lousy kids, no respect for anything. Some people think move is about today's plastic culture. Well, what is that supposed to mean? We believe in a philosophy of joy and laughter, not in self-recrimination and rebuke. No shit. Some people think move is about the battle of the sexes. Doctor, I don't think my husband understands me. Is your wife so Austrian? No, Jewish. Myra, break up the glass. Isn't that disgusting? I don't know what it is. I haven't made love to Dolly in months. I just can't. God, I, I, I think you really are going crackers. Look, it's the third time. And you better tell me you love me or something. Hey, look at that. You've got green paint spots all over your chest. You've even got it on your... <gasps> oh, that's kinky. Try something funny. None, mate. When we start picking up weird balls, I come for you first. Some people think move is just an entertaining comedy. Who is this? But some people think move is more than that. Damn it! I don't need this. In short, some people think, and some people don't. And some people just move. Move. The movie with a message. You cute little baby. Wonderful folks from Saturday Night Live and National Lampoon have done it again, Jungle fans. You talking about my mother? Fame of the Jungle, featuring the voice of Johnny Weissmuller Jr. Featuring the voice of John Belushi. I am not wearing no wig. Why is shame of the jungle rated X? I don't know. I don't if you the fortune to have been accepted at this college, then you recognize this house. But if you never heard of Yellow Stream College, then wipe the dog mess off your shoes and come inside the house that's the pits of higher education and the home of Pi Kappa Delta. But wait, before we go inside, there's something we've got to get straight. You tell them, Gross Out. Hey, you know what all these things are? These are all the scenes we can't show you. Why? Because this is a G-rated trailer. That's why. And the only way you are going to see these scenes is to come to this theater when King Frat is playing. King Frat. What makes this picture so raunchy, so offensive, I'll bury you myself. so completely out of control? Well, there's his first annual win contest. 
Our contestants are all primed and ready to go. Points will be awarded on the basis of love. You've never seen or heard anything like it before. Position, please. Too bad we can't let you see it and hear it right now. And there's this emergency room emergency where the pie caps prove a long-standing medical theory to be nothing but a lot of baloney. This is impossible. I mean, ask anybody. This is medically impossible. I mean, maybe in dogs or Mad Magazine, but never in humans. Doc, Doc, will you just get us unhooked? Maybe in apes. No, not even apes. You can see no insurance would cover this. Okay, okay. okay. That girl must be a real dog if an ape put a bag over her head. I guess that's all we can show you now. To the uneducated eyes, this may look like a party. But there isn't a word in the entire English language to cover anything like this. Too bad we have to leave just when things are getting started. But they'll still be going strong when you come back. <laughs> and a funeral that turns the last rites into a happy hour. is higher than heaven <laughs> of course there are other raunchy and offensive things too numerous to mention that's ready and that's ready hey my god mm. Is she pretty? You might say we have something offensive for everyone. She we just can't show you the worst. <laughs> King Pratt. If our name is banned, what can you expect from the movie? Want to play games? Then meet the girls from Rambling U. We've got the greatest asset Rambling U ever had. Us! We're gonna use it, yeah! Give us an R, give us an R, give us an R, A, F, give us a B, give us an L, give us an I, N, G, family, family! When it comes to cheering, yeah. these girls are great. They also have some good plays of their own, like Backfield in Motion. It's Cheerleaders Beach Party. To score with football players, first, get their attention. Next, zero in for a quick pass or two. This is honey, ginger, and sugar. We're awfully pleased to meet you. Same here. Then comes a little basic research about the way they like to play. And if that doesn't work, there's always something else. All right, follow me. When these girls go into action, the only thing that counts is playing the game. And the way they play, there's no way to lose. The cheerleaders take off at the hottest beach party ever. Cheerleaders Beach Party. Most horrifying evil powers in the universe. You talking to me? Have gathered together to destroy civilization <gasps> as we don't want to know it. <laughs> there is no hope. You're still doomed. Nothing can save you. And no one can save them. Except this gang of hopeless loonies. Pay attention. We've got a job to do and only we can do it. Disgustingly persuasive. We can do it. Oh, we can? Yeah. Sure we can. Why? Why? Because we're normal. Are these guys serious? <laughs> suck, suck, stop. See an all-star cast dug up from the local graveyard. See the motion picture that totally snaps your mind. Hysterical. 
this motion picture isn't only funny, it's hysterical. Laurel and Hardy were the kings of comedy. Then, Abbott and Costello took the 40s and split their sides with laughter. The 50s went hysterical and broke up to the wild antics of Martin and Lewis. In the great tradition of these laugh masters of the past come two guys who are hysterically funny. They're Cheech and Chong, the comedy team that gave birth to rock comedy and in the process turned on a whole generation. Now it's time for the Cheech and Chong movie, Up in Smoke. Go up in smoke. Put me in the lineup and let the bright lights shine. Watch Cheech and Chong travel to Mexico to pick up the world's first van made entirely of marijuana. For years, people have smuggled grass across the borders in every way possible. Do you expect to see any violence here today? I certainly hope so. But things Jordan. don't always go as planned. <laughs> and even man's most heavenly plans go up in smoke. Fire. Getting pulled over by the cops, man. What? What's I don't have a license. You don't have a license? Sure. You don't have a license. Things get even higher when the world's only grass van starts smoking on its own. What do you guys want? If it isn't one bust, it's another. Oh, man, it's a cop, so strawberry, they're on your pad, man. They're going to bust your pad. Hey, hey, man, hi. What? Hi, man, it's a bus. What's going on? It's a bus, man. Hello? Get out of the house, man. It's being busted. All right, freeze. This is a bus. Oh. So if you want to see the dopiest van of all time. Hey, first gear. Here we go. <laughs> on its way to the wildest rock concert of the century. And the high of a lifetime. See Cheech and Chong, the original High Riders, in Up in Smoke. It must be some heavy. Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Don't go straight to see this movie. Wow guys. This was the best movie night that we ever had. What do you think? Why thanks guys. We really appreciate it. What do you think of my eye wink and my ears move it? Wow Sonic. You winked your eye and you wiggled your ears at the same time. That was awesome. Yeah. 
This reminds me of Dopey from Snow White from Walt Disney. Thanks. So you see, Bull Mario, look at Mario. Tells Boom, Sonic Boom, Tails, me, Linky Dude 5000, and Jigglepuff, and Isabel can wiggle their ears. Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah. So awesome and funny at the same time. Wiggle them big ears characters. Well sure, watch our ears shake ladies and gentlemen. Wow guys, that's a very awesome ear movement. That was so cool. Why thanks, we appreciate it. Yeah, you guys moved your ears so awesome. This reminds me of Dopey from Snow White and Curious George you know. Yeah, I agree with Thomas Fan 2020. And this reminds me of Sloth as well. The Goonies character? Yeah, that's what we are talking about Yankee Dude 5000. Yee, yeah, so guys, have you seen my nose twitch before? Whoa, you're going to twitch your nose in Spongebob style or something? Well guys, we'll see about that. So what do you think funny? Isn't it, guys? Yeah, Pac-Man, that was so funny when you twitch your nose like that in some kind of Spongebob style dude. Yeah. This reminds me of Spongebob. That was so hilarious and funny, you know Pac-Man? Why thanks my friends. I appreciate it. You're welcome, so, where's Tally everyone? Well, he's supposed to be using the restroom, but no, he ditched from this movie night to see Freddy got fingered. Am I right? Well, you are definitely right. Yeah. So, who's with us to punish Tally for good? So, ladies and gentlemen, are you darn ready to punish Tally for watching Freddy Got Fingered? Born. Freddy, Amanda, and Thomas, let's do this! Yep. I agree with Pac-Man. We were born ready to do this. Awesome. Let's go to the theater right now. Okay everyone, we're here. So, do you hear anything? Oh yes. I can definitely hear something in this theater. Yep. I can definitely hear it deep as well. Let's go punish Tally right now everyone. Yep. You heard what Pikachu and Isabel said. Let's get inside the theater right now. Alright. Let's go. Well, I have to say folk, Freddy Godfinger is one of the best comedy movies of 2001. Don't you agree? Oh yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. I see that Black Yoshi, Danner, and Crane joined Tally for Freddy Got Fingered. I see that in my big, brown eyes. Yeah, Waddle D. I see those four guys watching that bad R rated comedy in my big, blue eyes. Yeah, my big, red eyes caught these bad jerks. Yeah, Cappy, I see Tally and his buddies in my eyes as well. Let's go punish them for good, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Let's do this. 
Oh, horse of shit. We're in deep damn trouble. <laughs> you four are in deep trouble for watching Freddy Got Fingered. Go home right now. Yep. Freddy Got Fingered is rated R, and it got bad reviews from fans and critics. Go home and scram right now you're four jerks. <laughs>